Hello everybody. At long last I am back and we're going to pretty nearly complete our little album. Today we're going to work on the flaps that we have left right here. And there are one, two, three, four, five flaps front and back, which means you're going to have to cut ten little templates. I did do this flap, as you can see. Haven't done that one yet, because that's a separate template. And I covered the back of my album with this precious um, main photo from the first page. I just think it's beautiful. And uh, I hope everybody's covered the front and the back of their album. So we are going to work on these right here. And all you need is a pencil and some sort of cardstock. And actually, I used the back of one of the scrap pieces of this little darling's thing. And it measures four and a quarter this way, and then cut one and a half uh, in height. And then all you do is lay it over. I'll show you. going to lay it over this right here. You see what I'm doing with that? Lay it right over there and you will pencil around this part here and this part here and then cut it. So you have a nice template to go by and using this template you can cut um, your uh, the rest of your pieces and we need to cut 10. You can cut any pieces of 10 that you want. They don't need to match the page if you don't want them to, or they can match the page. Like this has the butterflies on it. If you want, you can uh, cut from the butterfly page. This one here, um, I thought I would use this bird's nest. I kind of like it, and I kind of like this rose. So I'm going to go ahead and trace around the bird's nest. And all you have to do is take your pencil. Oops, try not to. Of course, that's just the template anyway. Can't see too good. Might have to use a pen. All right. Take your pencil, trace around. There you go. Hopefully, this is the right measurements. I have been sick with bronchitis, that's why I haven't done any talking lately. Because I, I couldn't talk without... Ooh, I don't think I've marked this hard enough because I can't see what I'm doing. Wait a minute. Let's try with a little bit more pressure. There we go. Much better. And definitely put a little pressure on your pencil so you can see where you're supposed to cut. And as you can see, you just cut around. And it's easy enough to do. And when you're done, you can just stick it on there. Um, there is a hole. Okay, there's that one. that. I think I want it like that. Got to pay attention to the orientation. But there is a hole right here, so um, you might want to mark that hole because we may do something with that. So stick a little... thing right there. Punch the hole if I can find the hole punch. Went to a crop, so here it is. Okay, then punch that little hole right there. Come on here. And that way, if you want to tie a ribbon or whatever, you've got your hole. There you are. Okay, and um, as usual, I'll a little 
distress on it just for the fun of it. I'm about distressed out with this ink pad, but that's all right. Okay. Oops, knocked my glue thing down. I don't think I'm going to need it anyway. And take your ATG and get it pretty well coated. And right there, line up your hole that you have punched. And if you have to even it out again, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, and there's there's your first little flap, and it does not matter if they match because you're going to mix them up anyway. Okay, now you've got to cut one for this, and I actually have one already cut for this, this cute little baby right here. So I'm going to put him right there, and um, oops, can't forget to do the hole on him too. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the holes yet, but probably something, so. I'm a little rusty. I've had some time off, and I've had to recover from not feeling good. Okay, line it up. Get your pencil back out. Find where you want your hole. turned out good so we'll tape him on there and you're going to do this with all of your pieces oh, perfect okay so there you are with that one and uh that one is complete. Now let's see, do I want the butterflies with that or do I want these flowers? I think we'll go flowers. I've seen enough of the butterflies. And let's see here. Maybe I'll go like this. Remember, this is your template, so, and it, it doesn't matter if you mark on it. Just make sure that you keep the other part of it neat. Okay. little skinny leg there. <laughs> Not sure that's good, but it'll it'll do. Probably was going to do this one. I was going to do this one. I'm going to go back and do this one because I got the wrong bunch of flowers. Uh huh. I thought that didn't look right with that little scrawny leg there. Okay, I don't know that this one will be that much better, but this was the one I intended to do originally. And, you know, when I finish this, I'm going to have a lot of paper left. I think this paper's pretty well used up, though. Um, because this was a small album, 